Hi everybody, this is Marjorie. I am gonna make this great recipe, which I will tell you about and attach below because apparently I scribble. <laughs> this is for keto faux French toast. And um, this is my first time trying it. So you get to see it along with me and I'm scrunched down because I have my camera in the right position. So I'm going to show you, there's only three or four ingredients. Let's see, I'm going to grab, I think I'm gonna grab some of this English toffee stevia and throw in there too. Anyway, okay, so hang on a second. So you're going to hear me talking, but I'm not gonna be looking at the camera. You need to take your seven by nine inch Pyrex dish, which I ordered on Amazon, Take your stick of butter, which is one of the ingredients, go around the inside and then give it a little spray. I use coconut oil on the bottom and um, so that's out of the way. Okay, then we're going to use butter, one stick, Philadelphia cream cheese, one whole block, and we're going to use eight dips. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, first of all, I have, this, these need to be room temperature and they're not, so I'm gonna pop them in the microwave real quick. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. I um, put these in the microwave to soften, 30 seconds, I believe. So first of all, what I'm going to do is put these, whoa, that is soft, right in the blender. I'm using my Vitamix. Okay, so now I'm gonna crack, oh, where's my, I'm sorry, but that was messy. <laughs> so now I'm going to crack eight eggs into this blender. Set your oven preheated for 350. So it's to temperature when you put this in. It's going to bake for 40 minutes. Eight. Now I'm going to put a little bit of simply organic cinnamon. Oh, I'm gonna put a bit because I love cinnamon. And that's gonna make it taste like French toast to me. Now you can put sweetener in this, which I think I am going to put a couple of drops of this English toffee. That sounds good. Let's put, let's see, one, two, three. So now I am going to blend this up in my Vitamix. Hold on. So now I am going to take this mixture and pour it right in to my pan, to my Pyrex. Get all of it out. And now, a little bit of cinnamon on top, just to make it very French toasty. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to go put this in my oven. I love Alexa. <laughs> so, basically we use her for two things. What's the temperature and set the timer. <laughs> Although she's good for playing old Christmas music. Everything in my house talks too much. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's very pretty. And I hope it's not copyrighted. <laughs> anyway, I will be back in a little while, 40 minutes to be exact, and we will look at this. Okay, so here we have it fresh out of the oven. And I just checked it with the toothpick and it comes out clean. Um, I'm going to put a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, of the maple flavor. I just tasted them both and didn't remember what they tasted like. Um, the pumpkin is good, but I'm in the mood for maple, so I will be back when I dish that up. It's supposed to rest for a few, so bye. Okay, there it is. I am going to cut a nice little piece out of it let's see I, so that would be about i'm going to cut it into six 
pieces probably. So let's kind of guess this out here. Okay, scoop it out. Oh yum, look at that. That does look like French toast. I'm going to put a pat of butter on it. I hope you can see this. And I'm going to put, so here I am. It is time. My pretty little plate of faux French toast. And I have a pat of butter and I have one teaspoon of the maple allulose syrup that I showed you. This, I'll show you the calorie content. I heat it in the microwave for 20 seconds, one teaspoon, and I pour it over the butter, which looks like plenty. So the syrup is two carbs, two car grams of carb, and the French toast is very low carb. I think it's only a couple of carbs as well. So. Let's taste this. Sorry, my camera's adjusted so wonky, but I have been running around again. Um, let's try this and see. Oh, oh, I don't know if you can tell when I cut into that. It almost looks like a flan. Let's see. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. And then to go with it, I'm having a sparkling orange mango flavor, zero calories. So, cheers. You might want to try this recipe for faux French toast, um, especially if you're keto or low carb. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy this now. See you later. Hey everyone, Dan just stopped by to sample my French toast. Stopped by. Stop, yeah. Stopped by where I'm eating, rather. Stopped by where I live. But yeah, he stopped by. I oh, mean, okay. I meant he strolled through the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> well, Dan. He, he saw it, I offered, he took some, and what do you think? Is it a, a pass or fail? It's certainly edible. <laughs> well, that's not saying much. No, it's very good. I'm just kidding. That's a, oh. that's a, that's a joke between Marjorie and I. It, it really is. We used to work in the same, uh, he worked for a distributor and I worked for a manufacturer. And we had a new flavor that came out. Uh, it was frozen yogurt. And we, we had a new flavor that came out, and one of the other sales reps, we asked her what she thought, and her statement was, she was trying to be polite, and she goes, it's... Certainly edible. And we both love that, because it was like, not the greatest, but you know, you're not going to die from it. It was so. beyond certainly edible. It was very good. Yeah. My, my French toast, you mean? Your French toast. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were back to yogurt. Anyway, so... Thank you, Dan. I appreciate your time. He's going, where are you going today? I'm going to the Ducks basketball game. Yay. Oregon Ducks basketball game at Matthew Knight Arena, which I've never been to before. They yeah. have leaves, all, leaves painted all over the basketball court, which is really weird, but it should be Could you take a fun. picture so I can show everybody? Of course, I'll take a picture. Okay. excited are you at a scale of one to ten? Eight and a half. Woo! Woo I've never been, so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, going to the game. All right, he's already done his daily duty, which is walking Notion the dog, and uh, catching up on all the scores on any possible sport known to man. Anyway, say bye, Dan. Bye.